Hey guys, Teller2K here, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you the best way that I found to get a video card in this crazy market. And that's through a web extension called Octoshop, which I guess is part of this in stock website. Um, Octoshop is a free extension that can be added to any Chromium based browser. All it does is constantly ping the retailer website to make sure it, if it comes in stock. Uh, it's not a bot, it's not cheating, you will not get banned for using Octoshop. But if something's asking you to pay for something, um, chances are you're running into a scam. So just be wary of that. I haven't heard anything about that, um, but something to keep in mind in reference to this video and you doing your own sort of homework. Second of all, there is a, another website slash kind of extension browser sort of thing, a notification system called hotstock.io. Uh, I have heard success with people using it. I have personally never used it, nor do I have anything to say, just that I have heard it, people have had good success with it. Um, in this video, we'll just be talking about Octoshop where I've had pretty good success, but just keep in mind there are alternatives out there. First thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and go to the extensions area. Get extension from the Chrome Web Store. Uh, this uh, extension works on any Chromium based web browser. Um, Edge is what I'm currently using right here. Brave, uh, Chrome, and I'm sure quite a few other um, web based, you know, Chromium browsers as well. I'm going to go ahead and search up OctoShop. Uh, Octo like is an eight, and then shop. Add the Chrome. Okay, a message will pop up. Um, you can go ahead and ignore that. Basically, there's a background feature that you can go ahead and disable. Uh, for this kind of case, we're not going to go ahead and take a look at that, um, but it is something to take a look at if you want to stay in the know at all times. So I'm going to go to bestbuy.com. I'm going to search RTX 3070. Um, you can obviously add any sort of card you're particularly looking for, uh, but let's go ahead and say that you don't have any modern video card and you want to get something for MSRP, so 500 from Best Buy, rather than have to deal with online shopping and scalping and whatnot. So go ahead, open up the site. On the right side, you'll see a tab with a little spinning octopus. Go ahead and click on that. Notify when in stock. Um, by default, it uses a really low ping. Um, you may not know what the sound is if the first time you hear it and you might miss drop. Uh, so the thing I recommend doing is go to notification sound and go to the alarm. Uh, the alarm will wake you up. There's no way you can misidentify what that sound is. So definitely go ahead and do that. Uh, click on track. Uh, so let's say you're going to go ahead and try to get any video card because like I had mentioned, um, you don't have anything modern. So we're going to go ahead and just add the 3090. Same process. Ticket, notify in stock, change to the alarm, track it, and then uh, same thing for the 3080. Uh, personally, um, I had tried for about four months to get the 3080. Um, I was lucky enough to get a 3070 earlier, but uh, I really wanted the 3080. So um, for me, uh, that kind of hits close to home. Okay, click on track. If you um, back out and go click on the icon, go to your tracked items. It will show you what's kind of being tracked. Um, you can add up to, I believe, just like the name uh, suggests, eight things. Uh, so let's go ahead and say if you're looking for a 3080, you can go to search, you know, like a third party video card, um, or you can go to any other major retailer and basically link the extension over there as well. So just for this example, I'm going to go ahead and say, well, we want an EVGA 3080 from Best Buy as well. Alarm, track. Okay, so let's say in the future, uh, a, drop, uh, a drop occurs and you wanna see what's going to happen. You had seen a little bit of a preview earlier, uh, what it does look like. But uh, let me go ahead and show you how it works. Let's say this one comes into stock. So you will get a, a notif notification sound and a window will pop up. Um, if you click on the window, you can go to continue on Best Buy. Uh, there is a automatically add the cart feature. Uh, I personally have never used that, but uh, click on that. So the day of occurs, the button here will turn yellow. Go ahead and click on add the cart or whatever it may say. There will be a message. The color will change to let you know that you have done something. Uh, and it'll basically state you are essentially in the queue uh, to get the product. Um, after a few minutes, um, in my experience, anywhere between like three to 10 minutes, the message will return yellow to allow you to actually add the cart. 
go ahead and click on that, follow the steps, and hopefully you are quick enough uh, to get a video card. Now, a couple of quick things that you want to do uh, before the day of a drop. Be sure you are signed into your Best Buy account. Uh, be sure you have a credit card on file. Be sure you have your home address on file. That way the process will be very straightforward and quick to go through. Uh, one thing of note, if you've never um, done this with Best Buy, it will ask you for essentially some sort of two-factor uh, two authentication where it'll either send it to your email address or your cell phone number. Um, I recommend trying both. Uh, in my experience, the cell phone goes through first, although the last time they had a drop and I was able to get a 3080, um, it did state, uh, well, rather, it was way quicker to get my email than it was to get the cell phone. Uh, so my recommendation, try both, but definitely do the cell phone first. One other thing of note, uh, there are discords that have bots that will allow you to know when things go online. Other thing, there are uh, YouTube uh, channels out there that also do their own sort of um, combing to make sure things are in stock. And typically those um, YouTube accounts will also allow you to know when a drop will likely to occur or kind of secondhand knowledge of when something will go in stock. So I do recommend following those. Uh, the Discord sort of thing, you know, might leave you open to scamming, so be careful. But the YouTube channels are a great resource for you to try to get a video card at MSRP, or as you see here, things like uh, PS5s and Xboxes.